Welcome to the weekly video podcast for the PBS series E Squared. This exclusive online program will take you beyond the episode you just watched and deeper into the world of sustainable design. Three or four generations ago, the beginning of the 20th century, 90% of the world lived in the countryside. 10% only lived in cities. That number has changed. The majority, as we now know, live in cities. And if that continues, we could be in a situation that 75% of the world's population could be living in cities. Therefore, a small change in the amount of energy consumed by cities and the amount of pollution that they cause, the amount of CO2 they emit, can make a massive impact on the climate change for the planet. If we don't reverse the trend in greenhouse gas emissions in cities, we literally don't save the planet. Moreover, we're very vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. You name it, you know, droughts, floods, heat waves, rising sea levels. Many, many of the world's biggest cities are on coasts or estuaries. In 2005, mayors from 18 of the world's largest cities met in London to find ways of working together to fight climate change. It was the beginning of what is known today as C40. London really has informed the debate. It has been very uh, active in uh, setting up a worldwide network of cities called C40. And this organization is really uh, trying to bring together sort of these innovative uh, efforts on the city level of city mayors to advance with the climate change agenda. The world's cities are already leading world nations in this. The city leaders, the C40 group, has come together very strongly to say if climate change is going to be tackled, it has to be tackled in cities. Some of the things we've done here are groundbreaking, like, for example, looking at uh, low energy consumption for the tube. We introduced uh, some hydrogen buses in conjunction with 10 other cities uh, in Europe and, and throughout the world. The, the lessons from that introduction will go into the next generation. Probably the third generation will be affordable, and that's where we want to be. Um, what some of the lessons are you can get, you can move even further, even faster by working together than you can do separately. And certainly sharing the knowledge is, is, is increasingly important. That knowledge is not only being shared by the 40 cities involved, but also with other like-minded groups to maximize its impact. In order to scale up our efforts, we partnered, we've partnered with the Clinton Foundation, who've set up the Clinton Climate Initiative to work with us on that. Former President Clinton announced the first Clinton Climate Initiative procurement package, which is an energy efficiency building retrofit program. I have uh, recently attended uh, a C40 summit in, uh, in New York, and where Melbourne joined with the other cities joining the uh, Clinton Climate Initiatives right, to retrofit our existing building. At the moment now, the council is looking at you know, retrofitting uh, our uh, buildings uh, to, uh, to again to achieve a very high green building uh, rating. But what we're talking about is 80% of the savings being given over to pay the upfront costs of making the buildings energy efficient. If the costs aren't met by those savings, then the banks underwrite. So it's a win-win all round. And it could make a huge difference to cities all over the world. And there are more packages like that in the pipeline. But C40 is about more than just words. It's about cutting carbon together and working on exchanges of best practice, getting ideas from each other, and combining together on procurement alliances. Huge purchasing power, bringing down the price of new technologies. And we think we could catalyze markets 
and possibly reconfigure global markets that way. And of course, I think it will be very useful for the companies themselves, especially cutting edge new leapfrog technologies. Because in fact, if they can be assured of the demand, and because they know the demand will be there, they'll invest. So it helps both the supply and the demand. The massive purchasing power that C40 cities hold could help forge a new economy around emerging energy technologies. But the challenges are huge and the outcome far from certain. For more information about E Square, visit our website at pbs.org. Thank you for watching this weekly podcast from the E Square Transport Series. We're proud to bring you these stories about the engineers, designers, and architects who are using technology to help create a more sustainable world.